Hello, family. Thank you for coming over to the house tonight. And just kick off your shoes and relax your feet. Party on down to the SKB. We're kicking. Just kick it. Just kick it. Okay, you don't come to another episode where we're going to be asking the question of... Why are you telling my business? Don't be telling my business. Hmm. Why not? Because a can-can and a can-can, a can-can, a can-can, and a wheel. Now we're off to... Hello everyone and thank you for coming back to the channel. And we back with some hot popping peaceful news of money making out there in the ATL where I reside in the crate uh Decatur where it's greater. <laughs> okay. Even Candy can tell you. It's in Decatur where it's greater. Okay. We get this story from bossup.com. And of course, you know, it's going to be about Candy Burr. She's the hot thing that's popping out there right about now. And Marlo and Nene, woe unto you. <laughs> but I know, I know. See, that's why I keep thinking. I don't know why I'm, I keep thinking Marlo is older than what she is. Um, and it's just a shame. It's just a shame. Old heads sometimes can't learn new things and we definitely see that with nene leaks and um like i said marlo is still in her what 30s 40s and i can't believe it because she looks like she's in her 50s okay middle 50s but that's okay everything's good in the neighborhood but we got this story that bossup.com brought out on our native atlantean okay and it was uh, posted by Alex Bossop. Okay. It's titled, Can You Keep a Check? Can, can You Keep a Check? Can You Keep a Check? Can, can You Keep a Check? Candy Girl. Yes. Can You Keep a Check? Burris and the Old Lady Gang host Day Shift Screening Soiree with Jamie Foxx and Dave Franco. And the ATL, yes, I told you. That's why people, uh, they love to try to call. They say, I'm going to move to Atlanta. I'm going to move to Atlanta and, 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 and get seen. And the only thing I don't like about it is just the extra traffic volume we get for people wanting to come here, bring out, you know, like local, well, not local celebrities, but other celebrities around the global world. Everybody want to stay here in Atlanta. And it's been so overcrowded, so populated. And when you see all of that traffic out there, thank Candy Burris and other local celebrities for that. And the people that want to move and groove in the entertainment business, you can thank them for that. Okay? Ah, it's a double-edged sword. A double-edged sword. But right now, we got Tyler Perry living here, pumping out... Um, we call it movies here and there looking for extras i mean we got a lot of um work that can be definitely utilized for people that want to be in the industry whether it's music industry or entertainment industry or the world of film just letting you know but i tell you it's, it seems like it should be a time where where normal folks can get out there and, and run these streets and then the celebrities that when they want to get out there and run them streets, you know, kind of sort of like when the Olympics was here in um, 1996, you talking about some traffic was beautiful because a lot of people uh, had to work from home. They could work from home and it just the, the congestion was at a all time low. I loved it. OK, because at that time I was working um, was work. I worked for the state and the traffic was unbearable. I'm telling you, it was unbearable. Oh, but the Olympics, they had it going on. They was having you take the train, the bus, uh, to, you know, to get around town around that time. And it was wonderful. But like I said, Department of Transportation, they could do a whole lot better. They could do a whole lot better. But that's another uh, stress out for another video. Okay. We came here to talk about candy hosting a soiree 
at the old lady gang. I'm pretty sure it was at the old lady gang. Well, when we get into the articles, because I didn't read it, uh, we'll see where it was actually uh, being held at. But we do know Candy Burris Tucker, and I'm going to include Todd in this, because like I said, I, I, he want to help his wife do well, but everybody just don't focus on Todd. And I think Todd needs to be focused on sometime. You know what I'm saying? Give him his uh updo his high fives but he got to start doing something outside of candy you see what i'm saying make his own mark and so people will come to see what todd tucker enterprises tiny tim todd tucker what we call him over here <laughs> but he's not going to be able to be seen and be worth what he says he's worth out there until he starts separating himself and having functions like this. What Candy's throwing in, that he's doing it. You see what I'm saying? We got to look at the horse from a different color. But I'm sure Todd would get that worked out sooner rather than later. So we could be like, okay, yeah, we're going to see what Todd undid. Yeah, Todd undid. You know, to give him one up. Cause, but right now, it's Candy Bird's time to shine. And she's taking every opportunity to do so. Okay, but we're getting on into what I brought y'all here for. Okay, it says candy keep a check. All right. And the old lady gang hosted a special reception screening event for Netflix's upcoming action comedy day shift at IPIC Theater in Atlanta. Okay, so that we found out where it was held at. The real star chatted with Jamie Foxx and Dave Franco about the bonkers vampire film that features the oscar winning going full blade snoop dogg killing vampires with a very big gun and making good looking female fine all right hold up it says in day shift fox is a hard-working blue-collar dad who just wants to provide a good life for his quick-witted daughter but his mundane san fernando valley pool cleaning job is a front for his real resource of income hunting and killing vampires as part of an international union of vampire hunters okay all right Jamie Foxx is trying to save his family. He's having problems financially. He gets in over his head, but he's got the starch in his britches to get him out of trouble, said director J.J. Perry in an interview with EW. He kills a vampire who we find out was the daughter of the boss lady vampire who seeks revenge. There are two worlds colliding of a man trying to save his family and a vampire looking for revenge. Okay. This movie was produced by a John Wick filmmaker, Chad, somebody. We're going to say Stok Stokski or something like that. And directed by J.J. Perry. The upcoming film stars Jamie Foxx, Snoop Dogg, Megan Good, Carla Sousa, Natasha Lou, Bergizzo, Oliver M., Steve, uh, Steve Howie and S Scott Atkins and uh, Zion Brognex. Okay, Snoop looks just like the platoon sergeant from the army who's no longer with us, says Perry. I told Snoop when I met him, listen, I'm not trying or I'm not hiring Snoop Dogg and having Cavus Broadus, the actor rapper's real name. And I think that really spoke to him. No, I, I mean, I meant to say he's hiring cat, uh, uh, Snoop Dogg. Okay, everyone hires him to be that pot-smoking West Coast guy. I put a cowboy hat on him, and I gave him the same swagger as my old platoon sergeant. They share premieres exclusively on Netflix on August the 12th, which is shortly coming up. So, we got to, get, once again, give Candy her props for securing the bag. That's why I say it don't matter what Marlo call her. Not really. But, you know, Candy want to stand up for herself. And I understood that. I understood the assignment. So, you can call her a hoe. You can call her a man take, uh, a man keeper or a man uh, pleaser or however you want to see can out there taking care of Todd and anybody else she feel like she could take care of it one thing you cannot that's undisputable is that candy 
is a hot ticket item right now and she is capitalizing on it people by using her platform on the real housewives of atlanta to secure more jobs more opportunities first and foremost for herself and family but she does lean back rock with it and try to pull some uh revenue into the the stream in Atlanta to help black owned businesses and black people wanting to do their own darn thing by hiring black all black okay white folks been doing it forever in a day you know what I'm saying so it's only fair that the blacks get in there and do their own thing with their own people as well as the Asian community the Latino community the Native American community we could all survive and exist under one roof okay but it's so much talent out there well, only one race of people have been definitely dominating the field. Okay? But that's all I got for this article. Of course, a little feel good and a little props up for Miss Candy Burris living in Atlanta, doing that Atlanta thing. She's a native of Atlanta. So I can understand. She's a peach. She really is a peach. <laughs> so am I. Okay? So if people want to call us, the Southern folks, that uh, didn't run to the north when we were dealing with our racial tension down here, kudos okay because we are the full um warm bread of hospitality down here in the atl okay not the ones that transition over here or were forced to come here or migrate here on their own cognizance okay the ones that are natively born you always want to meet them and you will be greeted i'm pretty sure 99.9 percent .9 you will get the home warming hospitality southern attitude put to you face to face okay and that's what makes atlanta atlanteans all right but that's all i got for this video guys and i can see i can see mama bertha over there squeezing up to jamie fox because she know he got money so she feels like if you got money and i like you a little bit oh you can have your feel you can have your feel but you gotta be rich remember she said no money no feel <laughs> and i made a video about that so y'all need to go check that out in my archive of, of collections of my videos okay but i'll see y'all next time fam thank you for stopping by Definitely get in those comments and tell me what you thought or what you think about uh, Candy Burr's uh, painting the street gold with all of her affluent friends in the industry. All right. I'll see y'all next time. Bye-bye.